Hey guys, I'm back again today. Um, I'm doing a quick video this time about um, some lip products I've either used up or I just decided to remove from my collection for, you know, the trash. Um, for whatever reason, I'll go through it as I go through them. So I organized them into three categories, just to make it kind of quick. Chapsticks or balms, lipsticks, and then um, lip glosses and kind of like the other collection lip glosses, stains, liners, things of that nature. So let's just get started. Um, my first little section is going to be lip balms. So I've gone through quite a few and I don't know about anybody else but I love using up stuff because I love seeing how things work. Or let's see this one here. I like how things look like inside the packaging. Um, so I was really interested to find out that that's what the inside of the EOS lip, spa lip balms look like. And I do really like these. I've gone through these two. Um, once this one got to this point, it just kind of got grossed out. Because um, makeup does have an expiration date on it. Um, let's see if I can show you really quick. It will have a little jar looking thing. And it will say here. So I don't know if you can see. Right there, there's a little jar looking thing. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says 9M, and that means that this product's expiration date is after 9 months after you open it. So if it's 9M, it's 9 months. If it says Y, that means year. Um, so that's a good thing to remember. Um, some people like to date their products. Sometimes I do that. But these things don't even matter because they're going in the trash. So I showed you the EOS. I really like those. I have another one. I always have a backup of that. I don't even know where the other one went. Um, Carmex, go through these things all the time. These are really great if you have chapped lips. Um, put this on, excuse me, it literally melts off um, your dry lips and then you can kind of just exfoliate them a little bit and then you have brand new lips. Um, I really liked this little lip gloss. This is just like a little thing from Ulta. It smells good. It has nice ingredients but it's just really old so it's another one of those things that I just kind of got grossed out. I really do not like um, lip balms that you have to put your finger in because that really contaminates them. Uh, I don't know where that other EOS thing went. Oh well, okay. And then here I have the baby lips. Now these, I just, I think I had a bad reaction to them. Um, this one, I really love the color. This is in um, Pink Punch. I really liked that. And then this one is in... Um, I just honestly, and I had another one too. Um, I don't know where that went. Oh, I think I like took that one apart to see what it was like. But these made my lips chapped. So like they made my lips have this weird like feeling on them and I got like weird skin on them. It was like kind of gross and just really uncomfortable so I stopped using these and I'm telling myself I'm not buying anymore because I just got a bad reaction to them. So that concludes that section. Next, I'm going to go on to the lipsticks. Um, it's really exciting using up products. I don't know why, but um, this is... I literally can't even twist it up anymore. This is the Revlon um, Lip Butter and Cotton Candy. I really liked this one. It's really pretty. The only thing is, um, I think I would have preferred it if it was just a cream instead of having, like, the shimmer in it. But it is really pretty if you have, like, a shimmery pink gold eye. This is really pretty because it's a nice light pink with gold shimmer. And, um, this is the Maybelline Color Whisper, and it's all used up. I hated how this smelled, except it kind of smells good now, but, um, I didn't, I probably wouldn't pay what I paid for this, again, knowing that it really was really sheer, and this is in the color One Size Fits Pearl, so it was kind of just like a pearly, really, really light pink color. I don't know if I'll try those again, probably not, because Maybelline isn't cruelty-free, um, but... That's my spiel on that. Um, here's an Ulta lipstick. This is like a dark brown. It was just like, it's just too brown for me. Um, I have like one shade lighter and it looks really nice. And it is a nice formula and I do like the packaging. So good job on that Ulta because usually, bleh, usually I hate their line of makeup. Their eyeshadows just don't even get me started. But their lipsticks are pretty decent when it's a cream then I like it because my mom has a ton of these but she didn't like this color and this is in 240 but I just didn't like the color so it's going in the trash. Next is an e.l.f. 
lip balm in SPF 15. So this is literally all the way up. This is in pink, and I did like this, except, you know, it was $3. Um, I was kind of disappointed. The amount of product was only like that much when it was full. Um, but I do like the smell. It has a really strong, not really strong, but a, a decently strong minty smell, and it did have nice coverage, and then it is nice to have SPF, so I did really like that, actually. Um, and then these are two lipsticks that I just unfortunately didn't like. Um, this was kind of in my earlier days when I was trying to try out lipsticks, and I really wasn't much of a lipstick wearer. I don't know how I decided to pick these colors, but this is um, Hippie Chick, and I just didn't really like it. It's a matte, and it's just really, really too bright. Um, it's just like a really intense color. I don't know if I'll try other colors because I didn't really like the texture either. And then this is just like um, a bright, another bright pink lipstick that just didn't really go well with me. And it's in Chic. And this is pretty cool. The round uh, lipsticks are okay. Um, I hear a lot of other people don't like them either, but the black label lipsticks are really good. I want to try them. But these are kind of cool. Um, ooh! Throwing stuff. If you are like a makeup artist or anything or you prefer using a brush it's kind of cool because the bottom comes off and that's product in there so if you do want to try these it's really cool because that is the actual product so you're seeing the exact color it's not going to be like totally off so that's kind of cool if you want to use like a lip brush and play around with that that's the product in there so that's pretty cool um, and that concludes that little section and now I'm just going to finish up with um, a couple random things. And I'm going to start with this one. This is another unfortunate thing I didn't like by NYX. It was the Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this kind of, like, creeped me out. I don't know. Because it, like, it has, like, a really weird texture, and it's kind of, like, sheer at the same time. I don't know if you can kind of see it, unless you do layer it up. And it really never dries, so it never becomes matte, but it has this really weird feeling on your lips. So, I don't know, I just wasn't a fan. Usually I really like NYX stuff, I really like their eye stuff. Um, but I don't know, lip products have kind of been like a miss for me. Next are a couple e.l.f. items, and this is the e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. And this is nice, if you like a little bit more of a thip, bleh, thick lip gloss, then you'll like this. It was the twist up kind. Um, this is completely out, and I did like it. It was really moisturizing, and it did have a little bit of color to it. And this is in Baby Lips, and I did enjoy that. And this is an e.l.f. lip stain. This, I just was not a fan because, I mean, need I say more. Um, this here is a Wet n' Wild Perfect Pair Lip Wand. I think I bought this because at Jewel they had like 30% off all Wet n' Wild, and I was just trying whatever. And this is, again, like a really, really dark brown. And it has shimmer, so I just wasn't a big fan of it. And then this is literally like the same color on this end. So, not a fan. This is the NYC Liquid Lip Shine. And I am kind of like really sad to get rid of this. But I swear to you, I've had this. It's, it's really pretty. It's actually really similar to um, the Revlon one I was showing you. But this, I swear I've had for 10 years. And that's gross. The end. Um, <laughs> next, uh, is the e.l.f. Lip, ex lip Exfoliator. This smells so good. It smells like vanilla coffee, or something like a really small hint of coffee and, like, lots of vanilla. And it broke. So, that was the end of that. And this was, like, $3. And I really love the packaging. I don't know, I just, I just really like it. Um, and it was really nice. It was, like, it's kind of grainy, but it has, like, a moisturizer in it too. I don't know. I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but I was really sad when I broke it. So that kind of concludes my lip empties, and these I've been, you know, kind of holding on to for maybe like six months to a year. Um, I have a lot of face products, a lot of, a couple of hair products, not a lot, um, a lot of eye products, and a couple like different makeup removing types of products that I've tried out because I'm really specific on that. I get um, allergic reactions in my eyes if I use really harsh um, makeup removers. So if you have sensitive skin or anything like that, um, keep a lookout for uh, a review on those or, you know, an empties video. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure you leave any comments about any questions about any products mentioned. Um, make sure you thumbs up the video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to. Um, 
So thanks again for watching, guys. I'll